Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and it is Tuesday, November 4th, Election Day. Uh, before I get to the market, a uh, little house cleaning issue. Um, I'm sure you've uh, seen that I'm trying to use a new format in making the videos. And in doing so, we've uh, run into an issue or two. And uh, that issue is that when we make the video, when we, when we first produce the video, it is uh, sharp, very easy to read, and uh, we're quite pleased with it. And then as soon as we download it onto YouTube, it gets all fuzzy. And uh, the reason for that is that uh, the way YouTube compresses the video, uh, it loses its integrity. Now, we don't know what the answer to the problem is. Uh, we'll be working on it. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to use this format, but it does give me some flexibility in making the video. So uh, um, I think one of the short-term solutions to the problem is going to be that uh, in key areas of the uh, charts, we're going to zoom in uh, to the charts so that you can uh, see the areas a little clearer. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, now to the markets. Well, we've got a number of breakouts in uh, most of the indexes. Uh, I think there was one or two that didn't quite break out yet, but uh, an impressive day, a good, strong technical day. Uh, we've gotten through the uh, first resistance area, and uh, has uh, it says a lot about the market. You know, those buyers I talked about that are sitting around waiting for the 800-point drop so they can get back in, to the market uh, finally decided that maybe it's not going to happen and uh, they decided to step up to the plate so we had a 300 point uh, 300 point rally and um, so uh, things are looking uh, things are looking uh, quite strong uh, for the market and uh, you know our plan is to buy weakness we may get some weakness my short term indicator is quite overbought and a, a small pullback of you know a couple hundred points would not surprise me. Actually, would be healthy for the market. Uh, so if it happens, uh, don't get surprised. But uh, we are buyers on weakness, and we do believe the market has a lot further to go on the upside. Uh, so with that in mind, I have a new idea tomorrow. Uh, the stock is Sienna, C I E N. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. Then we'll take a look at the two stocks we bought today. And then we'll take a look at the uh, major indexes. I'll show you where all the breakouts happened. So without further ado, let's go take a look at the chart of Siena. And I'll show you how we're going to take this idea and turn it into some money. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of Siena. The symbol C-I-E-N. I'm um, zoomed out a little bit because I want to give you uh, an idea what our first our target is it's this uh, resistance area right up in here okay now I'll zoom out and I'll give you the stats okay uh, this is Sienna this is a call on the long side we'll be looking to buy this uh, tomorrow right, right around where it closed right around nine nine dollars and seventeen cents if it comes in you know a nickel or a dime uh, don't hesitate I don't think it'll stay there very long uh, even if you have to pay up just a little bit from last night's close uh, I think that would be fine too anywhere anywhere near uh, the close of 9.17. Target on the upside is uh, $18.50, where I showed you a second ago. Um, sell stop would be a close below $7 a share, and that would be a close right there, below that level right there. Okay, uh, what do we see? Well, ascending triangle. I've already got the one line drawn in for the triangle. And uh, the breakout price was right there. So here's our triangle. Uh, there was the first breakout and our little pullback. And that's why I said that anywhere around last night's close, I think would be a, a, a good place to buy this stock. And it may, you know, back and fill for a day or two before the next push on the upside. But uh, let me zoom out and give you uh, uh, the overall view again. Uh, and let me recap. This is Sienna. This is a call on the long side. Uh, and uh, after all said and done, uh, we could probably make ourselves about $9, which would be a, a double on this. Okay, let's go take a look at some of the stocks we bought uh, this morning. Okay, we're looking at uh, Brunswick, B.C. is the symbol. I bought the stock this morning at 366 Closed 394 and it just has a great looking little formation here in the bottom. 
Okay, we can call it a um, a V bottom. It's got this look here, and then uh, it has uh, the ascending triangle view also coming up the other side. So there's our V bottom. Uh, incorporated in that is the ascending triangle also. So that's very promising. It also broke out today and uh, we'll put that into the portfolio and hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be ringing the register in that. Okay, we're looking at uh, Flectronics, F-L-E-X. Uh, bought this at 444. Uh, chased after it a little bit, but you know it closed at uh, 429. But this uh, formation is still perfectly intact, and I would think uh, by tomorrow or the next day we'll get our breakout above this uh, spot right here, which will kind of lock this whole formation in place for us, and uh, the process of getting back up to uh, our target of $9 will have begun. So we'll put this into our portfolio, and uh, you know, hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be ringing the register on that one also. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at some of the indexes. This is the Dow Jones. And uh, a couple things going on here. First of all, that was our resistance area that we've been wanting to get through, and we're clearly through it today. Um, and on top of that, um, the formation that's being built along the way is um, quite bullish. We've got these uh, higher lows and higher highs. And it also is taking on the look of an ascending triangle, with that being the first breakout right there. So any pullback back, back down into this area will be our support area, now that we're finally through that resistance area. All right, let's go take a look at uh, the transportation average. Okay, this clearly broke out also today. Uh, right there, that was our breakout price also has this ascending triangle look even though the right side is quite steep uh, it still has the shape of that triangle so when you pull back right back down into this breakout area right in here uh, we're going to find support in this All right, let's go take a look at the Russell 2000 okay the Russell 2000 <clears throat> has not quite broken out yet but you know all the other indexes have and they're and they're all so strong so on the next you know the next couple of days of a continuation pattern in the in the uh, in the other major indexes. This is this is going to get dragged along the way. It's not the leader as it was in the past, but it will get dragged along the way. So we're, we're looking for higher prices in this also. All right, let's go take a look at the SPYs. Okay, this is the SPY, which is you know basically the Standard & Poor's 500, and uh, this was our resistance. And we got through it today, and uh, you can also see that this has taken on this ascending triangle look also in here. So the, the patterns continue to build um, a strong-looking technical picture uh, for this market. Now let's go take a look at the uh, QQQQs. Okay, the QQQQQs, very similar look. Good, good strong-looking patterns being built. That was our resistance area. We finally got through it today, and uh, we've also started to build this uh, this nice looking ascending triangle along the way. So um, all the indexes really improved quite a bit today. Uh, it was a, it was an important technical day, and uh, uh, the message that it sends to me is that the stocks want to go higher. So we'll be a buyer on any weakness. So that's my view of the market. Until tomorrow, this is TK signing off.